Hey everyone, so I just wanted to give a quick tour of my Easter decor and we'll start here in my entryway. All I did was add this little home sweet home sign with the birds and the flowers um, just to kind of give it that spring vibe. In my kitchen, um, over here I put this yellow placemat and I had gotten these for my mother um, but she told me not to send them to her because she didn't want them to break. So I'm going to go ahead and put it out this Easter um, for my own decor. And in here I just have some essential oils that I use in my diffuser and in the kitchen. Um, and then some alcohol spray that I use to like wipe down my phone and keys. And then here on the side of the fridge, I made this little garland out of the Dollar Tree twine carrots. And then I got this sign from Dollar Tree and it had a bunny in the middle, but I took it out and just kept the Happy Easter part. And then these are the little stickers that I had gotten from Dollar Tree. And I used half of them um, in a package that I sent to decorate the inside of the box, but I wasn't sure what to do with the rest of them. Um, so I didn't stick these on the refrigerator. I just put a piece of tape on them so I can still reuse the stickers. And I know they don't totally match this like vibe and decor. Um, they're a little more like cartoonish, but I wanted to use them and this is the side of the refrigerator. So it's not like it really matters all that much to me. Um, and then moving over to my coffee cart, this is something that I cleared off. I just have the toaster and I had gotten this sign last spring um, on clearance at Kohl's. So I put that there. And then also this little bunny thing that, like I said, I got from my mother, but um, since I'm not gonna mail it to her, I'll just go ahead and use it. And I have some Hershey's Kisses. And these are some shimmer, white chocolate covered almonds that I found at Target and they're really, really tasty. Um, I'm the only one that lives here, so it's fine if I just like dig in there. You know, it's pretty sanitary because I'm the only one that touches it. Um, and these are the almonds. They're really good, shimmer pastel almonds. Yeah, so that's basically it for my kitchen. Um, most of the decor like this, little sign in the entryway and the kitchen stuff, I will probably keep out even after Easter. Because the bunnies, while it sig like they are synonymous with Easter, um, I think that it'll be okay like going into spring. Um, and then here on my little dining table, I do need to get, um, I want to get some like small, tight rosebuds, um, like faux rosebuds to stick in there. And then I just have the other part of that bunny sign and it's just propped up. Um, but I want to put some, I'm thinking maybe yellow or purple um, little rosebuds. I've seen the like tightly wound ones at Dollar Tree, so I'm gonna have to check that out and see if I can't get some. And then over here, I just have another little Dollar Tree set up. Um, but I had found this little lamb and I thought it was so cute and it is really soft, so I just stuck it there. And then I have this planter from Dollar Tree and I put um, a few roses in there. I was actually planning on making two of these because I have another planter, but I wasn't able to find enough of this color rose. Um, so I ended up only being able to make one. But that's okay, I still think it looks nice. And then moving over here, this is kind of the rest of my Easter decor, but um, I've had this sign for a few years and I was actually planning on getting rid of it this year, but our Dollar Trees didn't have a lot of Easter items. Um, that they were putting out because I really wanted that like paddleboard cottontail farms one um, but I decided to just put it up for this year and then once this year's over once this Easter is over I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the sign because I just don't love it anymore and I feel like I've gotten my use out of it and this little rabbit I got at home goods last year um, they weren't open during COVID and they opened after COVID um, like the lockdowns were over, it was after Easter, so they had all of their Easter stuff like 70% off. So I ended up getting this for like three bucks. And I just put a few um, little faux, I don't know, lavender plants in there. So that's that corner. And then on this side, um, I just have my little plastic speckled Easter eggs, little candle from Dollar Tree. This is another thing that I had gotten from Kohl's that matches that happy spring sign. And then the little rabbit. Um, and then I had gotten this like, it's like a little craft project kit for kids 
I'd gotten this from Dollar Tree, but when I saw them, I just thought they were so adorable and it'd make a cute garland. So I went ahead and put them together and created them into a garland to put across the um, TV stand. And yeah, that's all back up so you can get the full view. But that is all of my Easter decor. And just to kind of add to that, I thought I'd show you kind of what I'm planting. I decided not to plant some of my larger, um, you know, like vegetable plants this year because I am going to be moving mid-June. Um, but I went ahead and planted the dill rocket that I got, um, which I think is going to be great for making like homemade ranch and stuff like that. And then I do have some green onions growing um, that I will eventually kind of plant in a planter, but right now I just have them in a mason jar. And then over there, um, even though I'm not going to do any like bigger plants like tomatoes or anything like that, I decided to go ahead and see if I could start a couple of pepper seeds um, because those plants are usually a little bit smaller um, and I just have them kind of germinating in this little egg carton here. And if they grow, great. If they don't, that's fine too. Um, and I'll just like transfer them over if, they, if I do get a few little seedlings in two larger pots. 